joined that project. That's awesome. Next up, we have Don Lamoth and Stephen Visser, and they're going to talk about touching the 21st century. Just a <laughs> moment just to set up here. In a culture of 3D and 7.1 surround sound, touch's importance seems negligible. Does it deserve a second look? So many firsts. First sense in our history as an organism. First sense developed in the womb, and it is our first instinct when we are startled. One touch elicits responses in both the giver and receiver. Researcher Desmond Morris identified 457 different ways humans touch to communicate. Our senses of hearing and sight get a disproportional amount of our attention. <laughs> Touch is cathartic for dark emotions and it stimulates feel-good hormones. Lovers and friends depend on touch. <laughs> and we can also so show opposition through touch. And play? Well, play is definitely richer with touch. <laughs> Neither the infrastructure of our cities nor the quality of our relationships would be the same without touch. Touch can be a lightning fast way to communicate in times of trouble or a soothing way to communicate when relaxed. Touch inspires healthy reliance in a world of independence. And a good strong grip can be a lifeline.
Touch inspires a feeling of safety, especially in children. We hesitate to touch the world around us despite our deep connections with the earth. <laughs> we explore our planet and each other using touch. Could it be that we are running from this sense? We are all born with an innate longing to express ourselves through touch. Touch researcher Stephen Thayer said, to let another touch us is to drop that final and most formidable barrier to intimacy. Have we lost our humanity by creating a culture where we touch our devices more than each other? Wow.